Dance Hauls. Today I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I went to a couple of Dollar Trees and I have a bunch to show you. And I hit the mother load on the cereal. That's one of my weaknesses is the full box of name brand cereal. For a dollar, you can't go wrong. So you're going to see a lot of cereal today and a bunch of other goodies. So I hope you stick around and enjoy and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Be part of my YouTube family. I'd love to have you here. I'd love to get to know you all as you get to know me. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to get the cereal right out of the way here. Finally found, now these have been around uh, for several months now, and uh, I found the chocolate ones, but I couldn't find the cinnamon roll ones, and I wanted to give a cinnamon roll ones a try. Some people like them, some people don't, some people say they're better just eating them straight up without milk. So we're going to give these a try, and um, maybe I'll do empty box reviews um, to let you know how I think of certain products. But this was it. And this is a big, big box, guys. This is the family size. It is one pound, six ounces. And it's by General Mills. Can't go wrong. You need food. I don't like it. It's only a dollar. I'm not wasting four dollars on something, five dollars on a box of cereal. So that is that one. This was a good find. I've seen a few people haul this one. And I was glad my stores had them. The Cinnamon Toast Crunch Churros. And I got one box of these. I wasn't sure how I was going to like them, but I do love Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. So one box should be good. And this is a pretty heavy box. This is one pound, 3.7 ounces of cereal. And there's the back, family size. Yeah, this is going to hopefully be really good as well. So I've got two cinnamon cereals right there. Next up is Drumstick. Um, this is the same box, both front and back, so don't let it fool you if you see it in the store reversed. Um, it's just the designs are different on front and back. And this is a family size of Classic Vanilla. Now, I know there's a mint one, I think, out there. Haven't seen that one around here yet. And um, it's one point, or one pound, 1 1.5 ounces of cereal. Again, another General Mills cereal. And they got the... The box tops, which is scan your receipt now. Um, you can tell this box is a little older because it still has the box top on the top. Uh, this one expires April 19th, by the way, of this year. This one expires July 4th of this year. And then this one expires March 25th. So within the coming months, but we eat a lot of cereal between me and my son, so. All right, I have two more cereals to show you, and then we'll be done with cereals. We text, a lot of people have been hauling. Bonnie from Bon Bon's Hauls. I love her channel, by the way. Check her out. I'll put her up above. And uh, she makes her Muddy Buddies with this. Um, I just like it as cereal, so I only bought one box because I'm not a big, big uh, Chex fan. i um, not sure how I feel about wheat Chex, but again, a dollar. Can't go wrong. This expires... October 19th of 2020. So this one's a little further out than the other. All right, next up, Star Wars. I mean, I know there's a lot of Star Wars fans out there. I found two different designs, same cereal. Um, looks like we have Darth Vader. And this is a 10.2 ounce box of cereal by General Mills. Also Disney, um, on the back of this one it says, keep the first order flying on the back. And this expires September 24th of 2020. And this one expires the same day as well. And this has the BB-8 on the front and it says, keep the resistance flying. So I thought that was really cute. And it's marshmallow cereal. So that is one of our favorite types. My son loves marsh marshmallow cereal. And uh, he, he's always asking me to pick it up, so a dollar. All right. Next up, we're going to get into some movies again. If you didn't watch my last videos, uh, my first video I had some movies in there because my son collects movies, or, you know, I should say we collect them, but they're all in his room pretty much. And, um, yeah, i got to show you what all I got. All right, so 
My son has the whole entire series on his wish list on Amazon, but he hasn't gotten it. And I found Heroes Season 3, the entire set for Season 3. So if we keep plugging at it, maybe we'll find all, all the seasons from the dollar store. So a dollar a season. Can't go wrong there. So it's Heroes. I never watched this, but he likes it. <coughs> Next up is Big Box of Family, 10 movies. Looks like it is all about dog type movies because there's a bunch of dogs in there. And so it just says Big Box on the top one, but then there's a second movie, uh, Big Box of Family. So it just says Big Box of Family. I think there's 10 movies or five on each one. So there's, there's that. And again, my son's a young soul, so he loves young movies as well. This one is another dog movie called A Dog Gone Hollywood. I thought that was adorable looking. Starring YouTube sensation Just Jesse the Jack. Never heard of him. Maybe I'll check him out. Let me know down below if you've heard of him. And it says Lights, Camera, Action, Good Way. Good, good Boy. And it just says Family Approved All Ages. So that is something to look for if you're looking for movies for the family. Another Young at Heart film called The Last Mimsy, a must-see for families and for ki kicks. I think it says kicks. I can't see under the tag there. But um, one of the best sci-fi fantasy adventures since E.T. says one person. Uh... So that, you know... Is an interesting family film and if he's never interested in these types of movies um, like say if he says he doesn't want to watch it um, and it's not opened or anything I can always throw them in giveaways as well all right this one is another young movie so a lot of young movies in this video like for younger children again my son he's 24 soon to be 25 but he's got a very young soul kid at heart love him to death very good good child I'm, I'm very proud of him um, this one is called Camp Cool Kids. Fun has its place. And it says, face your fears on the boat there. It's got a bunch of kids in it. And Marky Post is in it. My, Michael Gross, I think that was the dad from Family Ties. Um, and I don't recognize the rest of the names. But again, cute movie. And it says this movie is 104 minutes. All right, so this is the last movie. And this is with John Denver called, oh, it's, it's two pack of movies actually, called Walking Thunder with five bonus movies. It doesn't say what movies are the bonus movies. And then on the other side, we have another movie called Danny Boy. And it has five bonus films as well. So I'm thinking there's 10 bonus movies. And wherever this came from, which I'm thinking might be, Dollar General because it's from Echo, Echo Films, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, let me know where Echo Films is normally sold, and it was priced at $3.74, and it looks like it came maybe from Illinois, because it says IL, I'm not sure. All right, that was a lot of movies and cereal. Let's get a few smaller items here. I thought these were adorable, little pink fuzzy slippers. I, my feet get cold at night, so I always have something on my feet. Size 5 to 9, and they're distributed by Greenbrier. And so I just thought they were cute. They're really soft, and they got grippies on the bottom so you don't slip on the floor. And pink is one of my favorite colors, so I got the pink ones. All right, let's tackle this bag. I love the new round signs that they have out. I really only love one of them so much that I had to buy it, but they're all cute. Um, if you watch other haulers, you've probably seen them, but my favorite is the peace sign, and it's got the little floral, it matches my room, and I am excited to get that up. It's distributed by Greenbrier, and it's by Special Moments Memory Collection. And I just noticed a little sticker on there it has a date of 11, 2019, which it must be when they made it. We're just now seeing them in January. So at least, at least in this part of the wood, 
I got these for my son because I did get him the matching towel from a store months ago for next, you know, this summer. It was for next summer, but you know, this coming summer. And these are the matching oven mitts that go with, or the pot holders, I should say, that go with his uh, towel. So he has the matching, you know, hanging towel that he can put out by the grill. And I just thought that was cute because I didn't see that when I bought the towel. Next up is a box of this Suddenly Salad. I don't know, I think I was hungry in the store. Don't normally buy this, but it looked pretty good. I just bought one box to try. It's two servings. It is 3.9 ounces, so it's just me and my son, so we can each have a little bit. If we like it, I'll go back and buy some more. All right. Now, I bought the rest of the signs that were in this collection. I don't know why I didn't pick this up the first time. But it says, let your faith be bigger than your fears. And I just think that is a very good saying. And I like that it's the raised, you know, metal or the galvanized, I think it's called. And I'm going to hang that on our entertainment center. I have the side, I have some stuff to hang it on. Okay. Here we go. What everybody looks for at the Dollar Tree these days, cake boss items. I was shocked at this point to find any cake boss items. Now I have some cake boss items from like a month or two ago that I have stashed away for giveaways and to give to people. And I was at one of the stores actually in Kenosha and it was on the very bottom shelf. And I actually, there was like five of them. I bought all five. I'm sorry. I mean, they were there. I'm sure they've been there a while. And I know they'll go to Good Homes. But this one is cute. It's a four-piece work truck set. Fondant cookie cutter presses. So this, if you want to make cookies, they'll be shaped like trucks. I don't want to take it out too far. But this is what it looks like. So there's one of the trucks. It's a fire truck. And it looks like you can put it in. And you press it down and it bring it pushes it out so that is pretty darn cool and there are three or there's four pieces total this one is a garbage truck and this is a tow truck this one is a delivery truck and uh that is it okay I don't know why I was looking for another one. Get those back in there. So I'm very excited that I found these. I am going to do a cake box giveaway with the things that I found. Um, I didn't find everything. I didn't find any of the big fondant kits or the, or the big trays. Um, but I have it all tucked away in my room. I found a lot of the spatulas and and a few little goodies there. But this was the first um, like cookie or fondant cutter type stuff that I found from there. I will keep my eye out though. So I can keep adding to it maybe. But I was really, really, really shocked to find those. All right, so what else do we have in here? All right, so for my son, I picked him up two of these Old Spice amber scent i thought maybe he'd like those i don't see these that often i know they're out there but i think i don't get to them fast enough and it is 3.75 ounces and i think he'll like those all right next up is something i've seen a lot of haulers haul lately it's this bedhead brand of rockaholic Tiggy, and it says Thunderstruck Texturizing Salt Spray, 8.45 U.S. fluid ounces. It's heavy, guys. And it says that uh, to use, you spray onto wet hair from mid-length to ends. Scrunch with your fingers and dry with a diffuser or air dry. I would air dry. Uh, can also be sprayed gently on dry hair to use as restyler. So that is what it says for the directions on that. 
All right, the last thing in this bag is some more of the facial wipes. Again, as I said, I'm addicted to the facial wipes by Bolero. This is coconut oil and sea salt. So I love having these on hand. I have a stockpile for days and days and years and months and forever. Like I will never run out of face wipes. All right, and then I also have um, this cute little dog magnet that says count your blessings in dog years. Now I don't have a dog, so I will probably give this to somebody who does. And because I think it's adorable, it's a dog house. Um, in one of my previous hauls, I, haul, I hauled two more of the house shaped sayings with the dogs on it with the dog sayings and i uh thought they were adorable i couldn't pass it up you know it makes a great little gift say hey i thought of you i've done that before to co-workers and stuff all right so this is the last of it here um for my gardening um i picked up those um they're right here actually i picked up these three tiered stackable planters and I got actually four of these total, so I'll probably have to pick up one more of these that I'm about to show you. But these will go right in here, like that. I saw another hauler do that, and I just thought that was the best idea ever. And you get six of these in a pack. And so that's just enough to do a stack of two to use with, with those, you know, my planting journeys. I've never planted anything on my own before. All right, I am a fan of pink Himalayan salt. So I did pick up a thing of that distributed by Greenbrier as well. And it's five ounces. It's pretty heavy and it's just good to put with the spices and have around. All right. Just a few more items. Three more. Yeah, three more items. All right. So first we'll do these cookies, these Danish style butter cookies. My coworker or I should say one of my managers recently brought in the bigger ones that you get from the, you know, the grocery store. And I haven't had these in like forever. And oh my gosh, they are so delicious. So when I saw them at the Dollar Tree, which I knew they were there, but I just never gave them a second look. I picked up two to have around the house. I do like snacking on these. Two more items. This is adorable. I found this just like, I think it was like in a bin of stuff they collected for not being in the right spot. It was just kind of on the floor with a bunch of other random stuff. And it's a sloth, and one of my other animals that I like, the sloth, I can relate to the sloth. It's like a spirit animal. I know it's a lot of people's spirit animal. I love to sleep. All right, so the uh, happy time, it says on there, and he's just hanging from a branch. And it's just a little coin purse to keep your coins in. So I can toss it in my purse, and then when I have loose change, just toss it in there, and then I transfer it later to my bank. Yeah, I have tons of banks in my room too. I collect quick banks. Not me, you know, not massively, but I do have a lot. All right. The last thing I collected was these owl salt and pepper shakers. These reminded me of my mom. Um, she does live nearby um, in West Dallas, uh, which is about 25 minutes from here. And I do see her at least once a month. So I don't know if I'm going to give these to her or keep them at um, because they're salt and pepper shakers. But when I was younger, she collected owls. She doesn't collect owls now, but it does remind me of my childhood. And I just thought they were adorable. Cute little owl salt and pepper shakers. These are distributed by Greenbrier as well. All right. That is it, guys. We finished today's haul. I hope you enjoyed everything that you saw. And I hope you enjoyed my video and I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. So please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. You have to hit it twice, hit the notification bell, and then it'll pop up whether you want to get all personalized or none. Please select all and then you'll know when I post my videos. I love you all. Bye-bye for now.